Hello my friends, it's time for another magic lesson. I will show you first and then I'll perform it. Uh, I have a pencil and it's, uh, it's, not a, it's not a regular pencil, it's a rubber pencil because if you see, it's rubber. Sure looks like rubber, but it's still hard. Now, I'm gonna bring this down here so you can see this. Um, paper clip from the other day so you can see it paper clip from the other day in the hand watch carefully I'm gonna make it disappear on the count of three one watching closely two three wait a minute paper clip is still there but where's the pencil oh that disappeared I'm bringing me, myself back down. Look, it's right there. <laughs> all right, quick thing about how to do these things and why. First of all, optical illusion. This one's fun and it's, it's a simple trick. You got a pencil or a pen or a wooden spoon or that and when you, you hold it lightly in the center and when you let this rock back and forth, but you do it with moving it up and down a little bit. With some speed, it looks like your eyes are tricked and it looks like it's rubber. And you, this is just practice, just to try it. The idea is just to hold it lightly and let it move. And it's rubber. And then you drop it on the ground and it isn't. And it, there you are. So, and you can do this with uh, many different things. You can actually do it with a large, like a, a plastic uh, flat disc and make the entire thing, but this is easy and you, you can use a pen with that. Now, the other one, using the paper clip. Now, the reason I did it like this is because this is, gives you an idea of what people will see um, and because you want people to focus on the paper clip. You can use a pen and a cap as well, using the cap in place of the, here, we'll use that because it's easier to see, but I wanted to use the pencil because you can, the, we use the paper clip because we've used that in a lesson before, but this here, um, you've got the cap, and I always say, um, pay it. Look at the cap. I'm going to make the cap disappear in uh, the count of three, and that way they're watching the cap. You've told them what to expect, but you're going to turn the tables a little bit. It's a little bit of verbal misdirection. We're going to come back to that word of misdirection, but you've got here, and you go. One, and every time I come up, I go one, and I bring it down, two, and I bring it down. And then on the third time, I leave it and come down, three. And I show here and I go, the cap's still there. And I wait for a second, because they're gonna catch on, they're gonna at least go, go there for you, but the cap's not there, but where's the pen? And then they look and you go, and I always go, my head, it's a little, uh, and, they see it here. Uh, and it's all, this is all about misdirection because you are, you're directing them to look here while you're doing something up here. So, and it's easy, one, two, three. And the reason why I, when I do this, I always put it up into my ear like this because this conditions them to, you see, if I just did this, one, two, three. It's weird because I've done I've done the movement twice with here slow one two three three so this way if I go one it's the same movement two they're used to it three and it's gone so it's a different uh, doing the same thing and so they uh, are conditioned, and then the misdirection that you are having them look here, and then you can do something here, and then show them a little bit. And it's fun. Both of those are fun, and I'll, next lesson I'll talk a little bit about um, routining, because each you notice each one of these uses a similar item. The first one used paper clip and a dollar bill. The second one used a paper clip and a rubber band. And then the third one uh, used Neither he used a, he used a uh, ring and a rope, but we'll be bringing that back to routine to put together a little magic show, if you will. So, all right. So, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing well, and we'll see you tomorrow.